Um, oh, that's cool. Um, I now have this great tool in the matchup. I've unlocked up smash, says Fox, <laughs> against Jigglypuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's good for Fox. So, Fox is now better at the matchup than Jigglypuff. Until Jigglypuff unlocks Rest. Then up throw Rest, Fox has to unlock DI. Yeah. Right here, Sand has to prove that he has unlocked Don't Get Grabbed. Not a good start. Training Wheels is going to, al like, Training Wheels has already proven he can gimp space animals and he can up throw combo them. Yeah. Those are two really big things that Sand has to prove he can get away from so and deal with. Sand needs to show that he has the good the good enough recovery strategies to be able to get past gimps. He's got that double laser too. Yeah. Uh, Which is so good. Unbeatable. Unpunishable, really. Well, okay. So if you think about it in terms of the like matchup knowledge, Ooh, that bad, that's bad guy. to know what to do about double laser. Yep. And I, agree. I feel like he knows, but he's got to prove it. Yeah. So, as a result, we're going to see like how much both these players know about the matchup, and then we can come up with who we think could win. Yeah. So I don't really think that it's something you can say there's a clear number four or anything like that, or like slight advantage. Like, on average, I would guess Marth would win, yeah. but if Marth sucks against lasers, then... Yeah. Training okay. Wheels just got pretty, pretty bad, like, uh, he hasn't been getting these edge guards this game, at least. Uh, so Sand has yeah, sort of been able to smashes. yeah. To, Sand has been recovering, uh, and so like he's taken. Sand could have died at the very beginning, at the first stock, like the first grab, you know, and he could have been down a stock. And uh, instead, he wound up taking two stocks from a stock that he could have lost. Training is a little early on the up here. Yeah, right. reset. <laughs> I think those are super funny as Marth, because if you get the strong hit, it's actually too strong. To yeah. Reset. Ooh, standing too close or uh, and wasn't ready for the uh Oh wow. The lag the lingering hitbox of the F smash helping out Sand there. Daniels is also really close to jumping into that second down air. That's oh. the second time he's tried to do that forward air and wound up being off stage and dying because yeah. as a result of it. But when I tell Marth how to edge guard, it's always like be on stage until you realize you that the off stage is yeah. like teed a stock in your favor. So you can like do it forward air, and then if it works, it probably works into like down tilt or something. Gimps himself. Then you don't really have to worry about it. Yeah. We need uh, training wheels if he wants to be able to win this set. He really needs to clean up his edge game. Uh, you know he can't be. Uh, basically, that that game was in a lot of ways close, except for the missed edge guards. Yeah, which we've seen training wheels do before. Uh, Spike, no coaching is allowed here. Yeah, no uh, mid-set coaching. I mean, that'd be pretty good for everybody involved, really. Yeah, I mean, like... Co I think I'm coach. normally okay with coaching, typically. I think at an Arcadian, it's too powerful. Yeah, because, like, we already have people here that, like, oh, well, yeah, yeah here's I'm all you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> here's the flowchart. <laughs> Sand laugh, a though. sad laugh. Actually, they're both <laughs> laughing. They're just laughing in their their <laughs> unique ways. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Yeah. But Sand's looking really strong so far. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely a power play that uh, he uh, risked right there. Yeah. He's taking a lot of control on FD. Yeah. Um, Chainmail's really isn't able to do anything about his Falco right now. Yeah. I mean, he he just stood there and shield. Like he keeps shield. Like get up shield. Chainmail's did also lose a game to Pizza here. Interesting. Ooh, right there, I'd rather see a grab. Um, so, yeah, F smash gets him off stage, but grab can lead into something more. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he sh actually... I mean, if he was showing prowess in the edge, edge game, right, I would agree with that choice. Another but, off stage. But quite frankly, uh, like, he hasn't really been getting clean edge guards. Like, Sand, Sand has basically given him both edge guards that he's got in this game. Oh, yeah. Nah, that was a pretty Sand waiting for the landing there. Yeah, pretty bad strategy for landing, but RPI's hopes of uh, top three only ride on train wheels right I here. I know, I know. That would be a uh, pretty sick for RPI <laughs> top three only at the Arcadian, and uh, four, five power ranked players of the uh, eleven, if you include honorable mentions. <laughs> 
And an X RPI grad. So an X RPI grad. I <laughs> you, like, you, you I are no longer. You are no longer grad. an RPI grad. <laughs> bad. I don't know how that would work. An RPI well, alum. I guess if I only there was a term for somebody who had previously attended a college. <laughs> and graduated. <laughs> and graduated. If only there was a term for that. So, uh, despite how uh, it kind of feels like Pizza in the Cut's been controlling this whole game. Uh, sand, excuse me, has been controlling this whole game. Uh, it's actually really close. Yeah, I was really about to say almost the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Including starting with despite. And <laughs> <laughs> like all, everything about the structure was there. I would just would have said it in my own words. <laughs> uh, good uh, down air. So yeah, Sand could uh, like definitely take this game, but oh, that was an interesting uh, choice. Yeah, he's got other moves that are better than that though. Looking for that early F smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does have a double jump. Wow. Oh, wow, that was obviously planned. <laughs> obviously <laughs> planned. <laughs> Trey uh, Wheels cheeses the heck out of that game and takes that game. I think he wanted a down tilt, but... Or uh, a smash? Actually, he wanted a down away. smash because it covered the spot dodge. You're right. <laughs> Trey Wheels is going to do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> it worked once. Ooh, s okay, he waited out the roll, but he didn't actually punish it, so like... What was the point of dash dancing there if you didn't actually have a game plan for when you baited something out? Yeah, well, the common thing that goes on right there, though, is he got the nair. And, like, I would already be thinking, wow, this is great. I know my opponent's not going to be able to tech or anything. Um, like, he won't be... He won't have the option to tech. He's just going to be able to move when he hits the ground. Yeah. But most people are like, I'm going to shield. And that's why Falcon gets so many grabs, like, nair to grab at, like, 0%. Yeah. It's not guaranteed or anything. People are just like, I'm going to shield. Uh, Ooh, that was like a really good reverse back air. Yeah. Well, I think like low percent nairs are really good because, like, it sets up a situation where pretty much the player who got hit is in such a huge amount of disadvantage. It's not like um, low percent, like Luigi's down smash is like a good example of a move that like at zero percent is just objectively not good. It's just not safe because you just get counter hit almost every time. Slow and methodical, uh, down tilt and then grab the edge. Yeah. Right there. He showed that he would be ready to do it, given the, uh, the opportunity <laughs> later. Well, you know, sometimes you need to... Sometimes, if you're down, if you feel like you're not winning neutral a lot, you need to be able to convince yourself that you're capable of doing quick things to get punishes. And so... Well, right now I'm thinking that Sand's showing the, the punish game prowess. Yeah. I mean, I would definitely agree with that. I haven't really... getting a lot of those openings with lasers that Training Wheels just hasn't been dealing well with. I definitely, I definitely would agree that. I feel like the neutral game's like, I feel like, well, maybe it's just uh, because I, I come from a position of a stronger player, but I feel like I could be winning neutral more as both characters. And um, I think another big thing is when Sand does get his opening, even though he's not really comboing all the time, he's still retaining control. Yeah. A lot more. But Training Wheels is more willing to say with an F smash. Yeah. Yep. Huh. <laughs> How about <Huh>. that? <laughs> yeah, I. He's definitely uh. He needs to. I don't know. He maybe he should just be going for tech chases if he can't get the chain grab. Yeah, chain grab's not ready to punish any of that stuff. Spike. Uh, I'm Brolita. <laughs> Another with death smash oh. there, but yeah. uh, like yeah. Oh okay, yeah, that's better for sand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Sand takes uh, game three. Uh, I mean, it's a rough stage for Marth, but I feel like there's like Marth is just not getting a lot off of his random grabs and random hits. Yeah, right here we could hopefully see Training Wheels be able to turn around because of the small space. Yeah, but Falco is equally able to use the platforms. Yeah. Shield drops. But he's still not shielding any of those. Yeah, he's okay, gotta push. he's gotta be a little more patient about letting those rock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as long as he's ready for when he knows Sand is gonna do an aerial, he can punish them more often. All right, well, gets back. Could potentially oh SDI, I guess. No, I think that was Sand missing it. 
Uh, it, it is very difficult to SDI out of Falcos up here for yeah. some reason. I don't know the exact like reason why. Um, it's just slightly different than Fox. Oh, reason. that's bad. Um, but well, Trading Wheels is a mountain to climb now. All right, well that's how it starts. Uh, one edge guard could definitely turn this around. Or that. Yeah, that's I mean an edge guard. that's an edge guard. <laughs> I saw a Falco go off stage and a Mark come back, so. Another I'm going to assume that somewhere in there, there was an edge card. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh, this is, uh, just, this is just an important place for Sand, though. Because uh, like, we've seen in previous sets that he either is able to keep this up, or something dumb happens and he's not able to mentally keep up. Mm -hmm. um, but Channing Mills isn't getting any of those... Like, he's not using any of his opportunities. Yeah. If he just takes any of them, then like it's going to gradually go more in his favor. If like that kind of gets in Sans head, but maybe it's going the other way right now. Like Sans more in training with set. Yeah, I thought for sure he was going down here again. Ooh, I actually really looked like that forward smash would cut through, but uh, I don't think he has a double jump. He didn't wait for the tech. <laughs> yeah. Channel is looking like he needs to practice versus some Falcos. Yeah, looking like his uh, Falco punish game is not up to snuff. And he wanted to practice against floaties. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well, it's still definitely in the realm of possibility. Uh, he doesn't Tony know how to so get off that platform, though. He just puts himself there in the, the platform. Uh, yeah, and like he didn't have a strategy. Like, <laughs> Alright, well, there it is to Sand. Alright, good stuff, Sand. Taking a 3 1 over training wheels. And now we have. Pizza, right? Pizza and a cup. <laughs> 